Hello, Sagittarius, with a reading for Sagittarius. Um, let's go ahead and get started now. Looking at the week ahead, looking at the week, uh, the next week or two ahead, and and um, um, so getting into your energy, Saggy. <laughs> I'm just gonna start. That's how it feels to me. Current situation for the energy for the energy of Sagittarius. Current situation for the energy of Sagittarius. Current situation. Six of Cups flipped over but didn't come out. Situation for Sagittarius. Lovers turned over but didn't come out. Pentacles came in in reverse, and I'm going to move it into reverse. I just feel like that was meant to be like that. I was kind of doubtful at first, and as long as, and, and as I sit, I, I sat, I sit, I sit, I said it again, I sit, I sat here. The more I realized that the energy is a little bit in the reverse. Okay, Sagittarius, let me give me a moment to get myself steady here in this energy and we'll move forward and start deciphering it for you. All right, you have a situation here, Sagittarius, that um, you could have you could be in a position where you're losing your energy to work on something. You're you, you're losing your interest. You're losing your interest in working on something or something is happening here in this situation um, where you're, you just don't see how it's going to come together. You're not seeing that you have the resources that you need. Uh, maybe your team, um, the team that you're on is is not really having the energy it needs. So if you're doing something at work or having a situation um, with your friends or, or even with a partner of some kind, a romantic partner, a spouse, a business partner. Um, there's something here that's that you're working on because I do have a working energy. There's something here that you're working on that just has lost its vigor. It's lost its vitality. There's something that has happened. This could be a, a something that's happened in your reality, right? Because the pentacles is something you can see, touch, um, feel, hear, experience. So there could be something in here that's, you know, your funding could have dropped away. Um, you could have, your, I mean, this could even have something to do with, with, with what's going on in the world around us in some way where there's just something that is coming out from under something that was once started because the three of pentacles is an energy when it's in the upright it's something that has been formed it's something that has been established it has been created it's still in a small way it still has a lot more work to do so if this was a relationship it's was just started or it was just building from an initial um, foundation. If this was a job or this was a project that you're working on, it just had gotten started. Um, it was just getting going. Something was probably happened. Something was probably created, but there's a lot more work to do um, to get to the Ten of Pentacles energy. So um, with the Three of Pentacles in reverse, it's it's like what was once there has kind of unraveled in a way. Now with the Eight of Pentacles energy, it's this, I mean, this is a situation where where you're staying on task. You're not letting loose of it. You're not stopping the focus on it. Um, I think that you know that at some point it's going to be abundant. It, it really has this possibility for success. And I don't really know that there's anything else that, uh, that around you um, that you feel this way about. So there's a really sh a, a something here that's going on with this situation that you really don't like something here that you really don't like. 
um, you're, you're just feeling empty about this, or you're feeling lonely, or you're feeling like something is not right. Uh, the four of cups follow as well. So, um, it could be that you've lost the energy, like something has dampened the energy of this. Something has come in emotionally um, and dampened how you feel about this, or it could have even happened differently than you were expecting it to. So um, with the Three of Pentacles, it's something that could have started and it had a real, um, uh, it had a real quality of tangibility to it, but as it got going and as you worked on it and as you worked to build it, um, it's maybe not what you thought it was going to be. Um, and this is something that's happening in real life, but it's affecting you emotionally. So it's affecting um, your inspiration. It's affecting what drives you. It is affecting who you are. Um, it's something that you're not stopping. You're staying with it, but there there is something that's, that's out of balance with this situation and, and you're not feeling it. You're not feeling it anymore, right? You're it, uh, the four, this four of cups energy says it all, right? If you look at this energy, it, it kind of says it all. I know when I go to show these cards, when the camera doesn't focus and I always regret it. So I apologize. Um, but sometimes the camera works really well. And so I never know like what's, you know, I mean, it's just, there's, there's no more energy in this anymore. Um, the inspiration, the, the positivity has gone out of it. Um, we'll dig deeper into these energies to see if we can find more. And I'm sure we can, because there's a lot of energy right here. Um, I, I think what you're wanting is for this to come together, right? You're wanting to feel a togetherness. You're wanting to feel something incredibly special. You're wanting to feel that joy. Um, you're wanting to feel, again, a connectiveness here with the Three of Cups. It's a connectiveness. It's, it's like, I mean, it's like feeling like there's a real reason for this. There, there is something here that's bigger than just you. It's something that's, that's, that's going to take you out into the future and it will be inspiring for you and it will lead you on a journey that will be captivating and will be something that you can enjoy with other people and that you can have this adventure. Um, but, but this feeling of loneliness or this feeling of, um, of boredom and of, um, a lack of motivation is not really, it was not really part of this picture for you when you were first in this three of pentacles. Um, that said, there's a, there's a really beautiful quality here for you that's coming out, Sagittarius, with this eight of pentacles. I mean, you're not giving up. You're not giving up here and you can see the potential, right? It's, it's something that's still tangible there. And we'll go into the eight of pentacles. This is a very interesting reading. I'm going, I'm thinking about going deeper into these energies that I would never otherwise go into. Usually I'm going into the ace of cups and I'm going into the emperor and I'm, you know, seeing how he feels and how she feels and all this, but these energies, they have, they, they're very quite powerful. So we'll dig into them and see what else we can find Sagittarius. Um, I do think over the next week or two that you will go into a restful period. We have these two fours. So we have two fours here, which talks about almost like, um, it, it's, it, it's something that's going to require you rest. Um, it's something that's going to bring in some kind of revitalization of the feminine energy. Um, you're coming in out of a battle. So you're, you're moving from being in a masculine energy and pushing something forward, trying to push something forward, taking action, trying to make it happen, trying to drum up the energy, trying to drum up the will, uh, staying focused on it because you're staying focused on it here, um, knowing that it's going to be something that could very likely be very successful for you, um, realizing that you probably just have to stick through it weather the storm, whatever that is. And, and you're coming out of that energy and saying, you know what? I just need a break. I just need to take some time off. I need to clear my mind. I need to go into meditation. Um, I need to pray. I need to get, find my why again. I need to realize why I'm doing this, why I feel like this, um, why, I, why I'm part of this team or why I'm in this relationship. Who am I? What do I believe in? Um, what, what do I need to feel better? Rest, sleep, 
comfort food, um, time with family, time with your animals, time at home, time in your sanctuary, um, this kind of resting and revitalization, um, time with your higher power that you connect in with, um, focus on your inner self, all of these things that we do, um, enjoying sugar, eating some good carbs can really help the yin. It's not something that we just readily admit, but if you're craving some ice cream, there could be a reason why. And sometimes when we have cravings like that, um, it's important to listen. You don't have to go um, all out and do something where the next day you're like, oh my gosh, um, what happened to that whole carton of ice cream? I mean, it doesn't have to be like that, but you can certainly enjoy yourself and feed the yin energy because um, it, you. this is something that it seems like it's something that it just needs to work itself out. You need to be in a healthy place. Um, the mindset um, probably needs to be healed in, in some kind of capacity. So in the next week or two, I do think probably in the next week that you're taking some rest. Um, you're, you're coming in into the four of swords energy, which is connecting into the divine, um, resting, revitalizing yourself, maybe a good massage, right? Some, some chocolate and candles, you know, uh, a cozy blanket next to, um, and, and a good movie, a good crier, that kind of a thing where you express emotion out of you by crying or by writing or by talking to your, grumbling to yourself. You know, nobody has to hear it and you don't ever, you don't have to send what you write to anyone. You can tear it up afterwards or fold it up and put it in a little box or something, whatever you want to do. But, um, it's necessary to get that energy out, um, this four of cups energy out, um, because what you're really looking for is something that's a togetherness. It's a heartful healing. It's inspiration. It is um, joy and celebration and happiness. And if you have this kind of energy of the four of cups, it almost needs to be cleansed. It needs to be cleansed before um, the four of swords can really be effective. Um, so that's what the rest is going to do. That's what sleep does. We know what we, what happens when we sleep. Um, where we purge old energy and we purge old thoughts and we purge trauma from our bodies. And if we don't get enough sleep, our bodies and our minds don't have enough time and our spiritual teams, because our spiritual teams work with us uh, very strongly while we sleep. Um, I know that for a fact because I'm, I'm clear audience and I can hear and speak with my team. Um, and so I know that when I'm sleeping, there a lot of work goes into cleaning my energy, to um, helping me purge out thoughts that I've, um, you know, had during the day or that I, I know, you know, sometimes if we feel something and we have, we understand. So sometimes if we're going through healing with the four of swords and we feel something, it comes up out of us and we realize we're thinking it. It could be even hard for the ego to realize we're thinking it. And you're like, Whoa. Jody, why am I thinking that? That is just ridiculous or whatever. And then you're like, okay, I am thinking that. That's okay that I'm thinking that. Um, this, I'm just having, this is just the ego. It's just something I have to realize. And then I kind of find um, an answer for me or for myself that's more healthy. I kind of work with that. And then at night, those kind of energies are purged. They're purged out of us through rest and revitalization. So there's a real need for sleep when you're going through some type of a cleanse or some type of a healing. So I really think you're going to spend time in that energy. And as you move to the end of this time period or even into the next week, you're going to see this page of wands energy, this revitalization of your soul, the revitalization of your spirit, um, a different can-do attitude. Um, it's a new day, a new dawn. And perhaps some of these energies that had stopped or something that you felt was was um, really being blocked, the universe is beginning to move things forward again and the wheels are beginning to turn. And the other people that might be um, part of this, they might be going through the same thing and the energies um, are just making things a little bit easier. So the moon has something to do with it. The planetary positions have something to do with it. Um, the way our... Um, the, the, the way our environment is, has something to do with it. The world energy has something to do with it. Um, so we're, we're in a position now where we're coming out of a very locked position, right? We're coming out of in an energetic world kind of view, uh, where we've been locked down and sometimes uh, our own realities therefore have been locked down. And even our 
conceptions and our perspectives have been locked down. And it does feel like as we move into the next week or two, there's a there's an opening up of that kind of energy. And with the opening of that kind of energy and with the time that you're taking here to rest, um, I think that there is going to be a revitalization, a revitalization and a rebirth in your energy as you move forward into the um, into the next, oh, I don't know, 10 to 14 days. Um, so you're going to be feeling young again. You're going to have energy. You're going to be feeling passionate about this again. And it feels like the energies are going to start to um, open up and revitalize and energize. And you're going to feel much different about the situation um, than you do now. So let's go ahead and dig into some of these energies and see what we can find. Um, why is the Three of Pentacles in reverse? That's the first question here. Um, so why, are, why is the Three of Pentacles in reverse? Justice. Something is out of balance here. Something isn't fair. Something isn't fair. Or it needs to be fair. You could be saying, like, unless this is equal, unless I feel like I'm receiving as much um, for my energy spent, something has to change. I mean, you could be just saying to someone, like, this is not fair to me. Something has to, you know, it could even be something that is happening with this project or this relationship that has stopped it. Um, and it's, and it's out of balance. There's some sort of balancing that's coming in here. A solution is coming in, a win-win solution or some sort of decision is being made that opens us up again. Um, but there is a solution coming in. Six of Swords, a strategy, an action plan, an understanding. It is beginning to move forward. Maybe not in reality, but in the planning of it, in the discussions of it. What are the swords energy? Their thought, their expression, their words. So you could be forming new ideas. You could be coming up with a strategic plan. You could be saying things that need to be said, but it does look like this is beginning to move forward. We have two air energies here with the justice energy, which is Libra with balance and, and, um, pursuit of solutions. Um, right with the justice energy and then the six of swords which is like a strategic energy so this is a lot of mind work that you're going to be doing Sagittarius and I think that that sometimes is hard too um, to it's hard when something is stopping that's that's a frustration I feel here Sagittarius it's like why is it stopping like it doesn't need to freaking stop like there's a reason there's always a way to keep it going there's always a way to figure it out and I think in this situation is it's a requirement that you come up with some sort of str strategy or or um come up with some sort of uh, there could be a, just a lot of communication a lot of planning and it could be somewhat frustrating for you um but i do think that there is going to be something that works out here that's going to send you guys forward um into a more peaceful place six of swords ace of wands then you take new action Right. So if there's something here that you're working on with strategy, with thought, with ideas, um, communication. It's a lot of inaction. First comes the inaction. It co first comes the, the brain, the mind, and then comes the action. That's how you're going to um, make this move this into a more positive place. I'm going to turn the three of pentacles over now because I see it going into action. Now there's new passion, new action. Um, uh, a new chemistry, new ideas. It could be very creative energy as well. The Ace of Wands is very creative. I think there was something here that, that, um, there was something here possibly that wasn't healthy. Um, somebody was maybe was working more than the other person. Or there was a um, an aspect of this that required that 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 was all about action, but maybe not enough planning had been done, and it was it was a lot about this is what we're going to do, and this is these are the phases. But as this moved along, there could have been um, details about this, whether it was a relationship or a project or a job or something that the details of it didn't really work as well because the initial, um, the initial strategy hadn't been fully implemented or hadn't been fully not implemented, hadn't been fully constructed. So this is about the thoughts, mind strategy. Um, even opinions, there could be people here with different opinions 
So when it when when it came time to actually implement, to to um, learn and to grow together, that there could have been people that actually felt differently about the situation. It could have been their core belief systems that were at odds. And so there had to be some sort of a renegotiation here. Um, and that required some strategy and some communication and some um, a forming a, a restructuring of a plan or restructuring of a belief system or something like that. But it does look like there's new passion, new action here with the Ace of Wands. So that's really good news. That's how this is what uh, this this is it right here. By the time you get to the end, there's a new passion, new action here. Page of Wands, Ace of Wands. All right, let's go into the Four of Cups. I'm going to dig a little deeper into the Four of Cups. Four of Cups energy. The world. Five of Wands. Three of Wands. So there's something here that blocked some kind of expansiveness. So it was getting ready to expand. It was getting ready to build. And there was a challenge here. There's a challenge that comes in. And this challenge was, it, it, it slowed it down. It stopped it. The five of wands is like a stopping energy. Um, there could have been people involved in this that were taking action all in different ways. I've never really felt this before when I looked into the five of wands, but it seems like all of these people are all doing different things. They're all feeling differently about this. They're all have their own agenda. They all have their own desires. They, they're working as their four people in this reading, but they're all working for their own good, or they're all believing something quite different. Um, look, this person is saying, no, don't do that. Don't do that. And here's this person down here saying, you know, this is a really important place down here. And here's one person over here. I don't even know what he's putting his feet on this person. I mean, it's a bunch of clamoring. It's a bunch of chaos. Like, what is this person even? Ha is he just hanging there? Oh, it's a she. Is she just hanging there? Look, she's bumped and bruised, too. Like, she's realized something over here that's important and nobody else is noticing. Right? And the, this person, there's some fire. Like, there's a fire to be put out. And this person's putting a fire out over here. And this person's down here. Like, I don't know what this person has noticed. Um, here's someone else down here, too. So it could have been that there was just people involved in this that all believed something different, all noticed something different. They all wanted to go separate ways. And really, this is about a team, right? This is a team energy, not a one person, one opinion energy. It's a team energy. So I, I do feel like there was something here that brought this apart. Um, it stopped the expansiveness. It stopped the growth of this. It blocked the growth, um, but it does look like there is optimism here with the Three of Wands. There, there's another three energy, right? Another three energy here, optimism, anticipation of a better future, um, starting to see real potential, right? There's a lot of potential here. And I think that there's just a matter of kind of making your way through this, um, reuniting with the with the emotional energies the inspirational energies the whys of this why what are we doing this for how do we feel about this why were we initially attracted to this what got us here in the first place and really kind of coming back as a couple or a group or a, or a friend group or a family group and saying like this is really the most important thing Let's find out what the basis is. Let's find out what the core values are. What is our mission statement? And then we build out from there, right? So it's 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 coming back to the foundation of it again. Um, I do think that there is some time here that you're taking to really rest and consider, um, you know, connecting in with what brings you strength, connecting in with what brings you guidance, whatever that is. If it's, if it's your favorite YouTubers um, who have their own, words of wisdom that are teachers, if it's um, a pastor or um, a religious leader, or if it is um, a spiritual leader, or even if it's a best friend who can help you think through things, this is connecting into what brings you guidance. This is, this is prayer. This is meditation. This is inner connectivity. This is 
um, receiving messages from your higher self or connecting in with your guidance system or your your angels, right? This is really kind of connecting back into who who you are and, and, and the whys of who you are. And then resting and healing and, and cleansing that old energy out so that you can live a new day. And when these energies start to build back in again, you can feel good and revitalized and ready to go. Um, let's look now at this page of wands. Let's look at the page of wands. Five of cups. So it's letting go of something that happened in the past. But this was emotional. Here we have the four of fives, four of cups and the five of cups. We have the three of cups, four of cups, five of cups. So there is a progression here. So this is progressing forward. Um, so uh, there, there, there is going to require you to purge what's there. Look at the five of cups over the top of the four, the four of swords. So there is um, some sort of cleansing that you're going to go through as you heal yourself and as you connect into what revitalizes you. Knight of Cups, energy of love. There could be a revitalization of a romance here with the Knight of Cups. Um, there could just be a, a general new energy of compassion and kindness and tolerance and acceptance. It could be moving forward and really gaining that, that energy of inspiration within the self again. Um, but there could be an offer coming forward or somebody coming forward saying, you know, I really am connected to you. Uh, I really feel like um, I'm so happy with you. I'm so inspired with you. And, and the energy that we have together is, is so, is so loving. Um, I, I really want to re-engage with this, or I really want to work on this uh, with this Knight of Cups energy here. We can go more into the Knight of Cups in a minute. Empress, damn. There you go. I mean, you're back again, you're back again. And this is how life is. And this is how we move through situations. Even though we can be in the Empress energy and we can be a very strong feminine, there are situations that come in that really send us into dilemmas, that send us into feelings of um, feeling the contrast, feeling um, a situation and, and feeling that it's not right and something needs to be fixed. Um, we, we go through ebbs and flows in our life. So it does look like this new love energy that comes in here once you've rested given this some time purge some old energies um let the universe do its work let things move along organically you kind of withdraw from the situation and say you know me saying anything right now is not really going to help me taking action in this situation is not really going to help i can train i can compromise i can negotiate all day but if the energies are not good like it's not going to help. I'm going to go rest. I'm going to heal. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to connect into my higher, higher power or my, my um, inner self. I'm going to receive guidance. I'm going to nurture myself. And when the energies are right and when the, when, when the universe is ready and when I've healed myself here with the five of cups, um, then it's like you're trusting that this is all going to work together with the four of swords. It's a very trusting energy. Um, and we do see here something re reoccurring or rebuilding here with this Knight of Cups energy. Right? Something is really, look at the horse and look at, I mean, something is really rebuilding here. Um, whether it's within you or whether it comes from another person or it's the group here, this group dynamic that's rebuilding itself and people are taking a little break and they're going to come back and they're going to say, you know, I mean, it's been a few days and uh, I don't know what got into me. I mean, I don't know what happened it, or this situation was just really hard. Um, I've thought about it a couple days and I feel differently now. Let's give this another shot or we, I can't do this without you. You mean so much to me or you mean so much to the team or whatever it is. Um, we do have an empress here. So I am going to go into these two energies here before we're done and see what these two energies can bring us. So let's go into these two energies. First of all, let's go into the Knight of Cups and see if we can get more information about this Knight of Cups energy. Remember, it's a, it's moving forward in the energy of love, and it can mean many, many different things. Love is huge and expansive and the one of the, uh, the most powerful energy. So it can really, um, you can move in all different ways with love. It has different, lots of different strengths and meanings and vibrations to it. Let's see what we have here. Five of 
the world, the five of wands, queen of swords. Seven of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. I'm going to do one more. Sorry, it's just a big energy and I want to be, I don't know why I said sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry at all. <laughs> It's just different. When I do the free form readings, I really have to just let myself go. I mean, this is a cliffhanger. I mean, I don't want to give you a cliffhanger. That might be great for the extended, but spirit doesn't work. I, the energies don't work like that. I want to end the reading and feel like it's at a certain point where you can say, all right. Ace of Cups. Damn. All right, so there has been something new that started here with this Knight of Cups, something new that started with this world energy, but there was a block here, some kind of conflict or something that came in that created um, conflict of interest or competition or people taking action in different ways. And maybe there was a lot of mixed messages or um, maybe you thought the situation was going to be one way and then all of a sudden there's somebody on the team or even a romantic partner that goes off and does something and you're like, wait, what, what's going on? Like, I thought we were going in this direction and then you go off and do that and you're going in an opposite direction. Like, how can we move forward in this way? You know, um, the queen of swords is here. So there is a very protective energy. Now this could be a Libra. It could be a, um, an Aquarius or a Gemini person. Um, this could be you in protection of yourself because this Empress energy is a very strong energy. Um, it's, it's probably the, it is a feminine energy. Um, let's, let's see if it's, yeah, it could be a man. It doesn't, it doesn't mean it's a female or a male. This is the feminine energy of the air. So let me see what, what is the queen of swords saying? What does the queen of swords have to say? What does the Queen of Swords have to say? Hanged man. Look at it from a different way. Give it some time. Two of Cups. What, what do you believe? What is your perspective about this relationship? What do you want from this relationship? What do you believe about this relationship? What do you, how do you feel about this team? How do you feel about this partnership? Um, this is my perspective. What's your perspective? Because something is off here, right? It's, it's protecting, it's like protecting your heart or protecting someone's heart and saying like, what's your perspective? See this from my point of view. This is how I'm feeling about it. This is how I see it. Because the other person or the, the other teammates here, whatever, whether this is a relationship or this is a group of people of some kind, they might not really know like how it's affecting you. You might have to somewhat somehow communicate that because there needs to be some, some different kind of understanding here about this relationship with the Two of Cups. So this Queen of Swords here could be quite intimidating. There could be someone here being very intimidating, very sharp with their words, saying like, you need to think differently about this relationship. This is what, this is how I see it. Again, how I explained the Five of Wands before with everybody having different opinions and different strategies and different methods, there's something to that energy. There's something to that energy. So there is here some kind of love coming back here um, saying like, let's work on this. Let's invest some more in this. Let's nurture this some more with the seven of pentacles. Let's nurture it some more. We have something here that's actually working. That's actually grown. Let's say, take some time to nurture this. Let's, let's give this some time to work out. What can we do now to help grow this plant? What more can we do? Can we feed it? Can we water it? Can we sing to it? Can we send it energy? Yes. Yes, you can. And then we have the Six of Pentacles coming in here. So it does look like there is some kind of balance and equality that's coming in. Something fair is being done. 
Um, there, there's some kind of solution that comes in here that brings a sense of fairness to this situation, a sense of equality. Maybe some funding is here. Maybe there's there's new funding. Maybe there's new money coming in that, that can be invested in this with the Seven of Pentacles. But it does look like there is a revitalization. Um, we do have the Seven of Cups. So now we're getting more into a heart space. First, we had this reality here. First, we had the reality, the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. We had a reality that was not moving forward. Now the reality is moving forward. It has new energy. Things are happening. Doesn't this look like if they're, these could be closer, don't they look like they could be gears and they could be moving forward um, if they were kind of squashed together, all these circles? Um, but, but now you're in a more emotional space as we move into the next week or two. Um, and trying to decide like, okay, now how do we really get this going again? How do we really inspire this again? Because there is a desire now to, to recover this now. So again, this Ace of Cups is over the top of the, of the Page of Pentacles. New energy, new inspiration, new youthfulness here, um, new, new passion for this. So you have love and you have passion. Um, and you have the, enter, the moving forward in an energy of love, I feel like this thing is recovering and really moving forward in a beautiful way. Um, there's still work to be do, done. There's still, a, there's still emotions to be figured out. There's still strategies to be, to be, to be ironed out. But there is um, here a refocusing and revitalization of the general energy of love around this. So that's quite beautiful. Um, let's look at and see what the Empress has to say. What does the Empress have to say? What does the Empress have to say? Queen of Swords. So that's the feminine energy uh, that's doing this. She's in a protective zone. She's in protective zone. She's she's protecting someone. Probably, maybe herself. Maybe other people. Maybe people who are poor. People who are um, ill. People who are isolated. People who are hungry. People who are lonely. That's what the Queen of Swords does. She is a protector. She could be harsh and she could be a little scary, but if there's people, if there's a situation that needs a warrior, the Queen of Swords will step in. No doubt about it. Her heart is bigger than whatever. I, I, I'm i tired. I'm like, I've been doing this now for a little while, so the energy starts to wane, but she has a powerful, powerful heart, but she's pretty edgy on the outside because she's been through a lot of rough situations. Um, and she's in a protective energy here, the Empress is. So she's communicating. She's expressing herself. All right, so what is she saying? Eight of Wands flipped over, didn't come out. So she's talking. We know that already. The moon. Ha! Ah, they're not going to tell us what you're going to say, are they? King of Swords, look at this. Damn. How does this happen? There's some sort of unknown here that needs to be figured out. There's some sort of detail here. Um, look at the look at the polar opposites here. The the wolves howling at the moon. There's two different perspectives here that need to figure out a way to come together. Now, these are counterpart energies. These are beautiful energies with the Queen of Swords and the King. This is amazing. Okay, tell us more about the moon. Let's see if they can, we can get any more information. Queen, king and Queen, that's amazing. Um, the King is looking at it in a big picture kind of way. He's trying to make a big decision. He's trying to put all the pieces together into making over our arching wise decision about something. And the Queen of Swords is saying, hey, you haven't thought of this over here. Like, you can't just make these big, broad decisions without thinking about these people over here or about, without thinking about my situation and how that can impact me. I mean, there needs to be some sort of attention paid to the smaller details of this. And the King of Swords is saying, look, like, we've got to make a decision. We've got to do this. We can't just take a small aspect of it and, 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 and build more energy around that than we do other things. Right, so this is about negotiation and compromise here. And these are both two very smart people. These are counterpart energies. These are true partners, so I'm not worried about this. It's just something that you're moving through here. The moon energy, tell us more about the moon energy. Two of Pentacles routine, um, budgeting, um, creating lists, uh, um, prioritizing. Something needs to be prioritized. Something needs to, there, there needs to be like a, a procedure. Um, what's going to be done today? What do we focus on? What's going to be done tomorrow? What do we focus on? Um, how long is this going to take? 
the details of the reality, deciding what to focus on today and then leaving the rest for tomorrow. What is the most, most important thing? What is the one thing you could do today that could change something, right? Six of Pentacles, making it fair, making it realistic, making it doable, taking time to really build it right. It's the energy of sensibility here with the Six of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Sometimes these things feel kind of embarrassing to talk about. Like you think that you can overcome it or you think that it'll resolve itself. If, if, if it's a little bit out of balance, you think, you know what? I can just deal with this. It's okay. It'll pass. I can just deal with it. Well, some things don't pass. Some things need to be talked about and figured out in the beginning. And, and oftentimes when we get into the five of swords energy, something wasn't said when it was supposed to be said. Something wasn't figured out at the right time and it went longer and longer and longer. And then at some point there's a five of swords conflict here that is, is could even surprise people. So there is something here that probably should have been discussed in the beginning, but because of the willingness to make this work or because of how beautiful and passionate it was and, and how, um, it started out on such a great footing. Um, you probably, this, whoever is here probably thought, well, I'll just let this go. It's okay. It's just this one time. Well, things escalate. Um, and so we have a five of swords energy here. Remember, it's just a five. Oh, there's the star energy. So I do feel it feeling like it, there's a solution here. Um, I feel like there's a healing here. I feel like both of you are kind of come into your truth and things that need to be said are going to be said and it's going to open up the, the airways. It's going to open up the pathways. Um, it's going to open up the stairways. I mean, I could go into all kinds of opening up. I, I'm feeling like a smirk. I'm feeling like it could go into very interesting, um, to open up, you know, whatever bedroom doorways, whatever, you know, it's, 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 it's a fun energy when things are going good and the team is working well together, whether it's two people or three or four, whatever the situation is, when things are going well together with these kind of energies, it's super fun and dynamic. When things go bad, these two energies are very strong and so they can really clash. That's why you need to really um, communicate and prioritize and make things fair. And when that happens, I think that there can be a really a, a lot of truth that's exposed and um, the destiny of these two energies can begin to play itself out and there can be um, a beautiful experience here. Okay, so I'm going to move into the extended reading now, Sagittarius. I, I am going to go into this king and queen of swords um, and see what, um, see what the queen of swords has to say in particular. See what the king of swords has to say. What does the queen of swords intend to do? What does the king of swords intend to do? Um, we'll dig a little deeper into um, some of these other energies here. And then I think I'm going to move out to the beginning of June and get a snapshot of the energies in the beginning of June just to see where this is. Give it a month or two and see where it is for you. So that's what the extended is going to be, Sagittarius. Um, all right. So thank you very much. It's always fun to be in your energy. I hope this helps. I hope it brought some clarity. I know it looks like a big mess right now, but I think we did some real good investigation, Sagittarius. So thank you very much. I'm going to move to the extended. The link to the extended is in the comment section or in the information section below the video. All right. Thank you, my friends. I'll see you back on YouTube in another week or so with another update for Sagittarius. Thank you.